Hello, my name is Nora, and I'm going to read Little Rabbit Lost by Harry Horse. Little Rabbit woke up and knew it was a special day. It's my birthday, he said. I'm not such a little rabbit anymore. He hoped, hopped out of his bed and found a wonderful pile of presents and an enormous red balloon. The whole family watched as he opened his present. Happy birthday, little rabbit! They all cheered. And one more surprise. Tickets for Rabbit World. For all of us. Little rabbit had wanted to go to Rabbit World for as long as he could remember. He was very excited. Mama packed a special birthday picnic, and soon everyone was ready to go. They set off for Rabbit World with a little rabbit in his red balloon leading the way. Little rabbit led them across the fields. Don't go too far, called Papa, but it's my birthday and I'm a big rabbit now, said a little rabbit. Then he ran ahead anyway. Little rabbit suddenly stopped at the top of the hill and everyone caught up with him. Look, said the little rabbit, it's Rabbit World, it's huge, and off he ran again. When they all, when they all were inside Little Rabbit World, Little Rabbit couldn't decide what to go first. He wanted to go on everything at once. Don't go too far, called Mama. There are lots of rabbits here, and you might get lost. Stay close, but it's my birthday, and I'm a big rabbit now, said the little rabbit. I won't get lost. Little Rabbit quickly ran off ahead, past the pirate ship and carrot speedboats. There was so much to see and do. Mama, can you push me on the big swings? Can I go in the jungle gym? I'm sorry, Little Rabbit, but you're too small, said Mama. But you can go on the whirly slide, though. That's for babies, Mama. It's my birthday, and I'm a big rabbit now. I want to go on that, said Little Rabbit, pointing to the big hopper. I'm sorry, Little Rabbit, but you're much too small for that ride, said Mama. So Little Rabbit had to watch his brothers and sisters zoom past and said, Little Rabbit soon got bored watching. It's not fair, he said to himself. It's my birthday, and I a big rabbit now. Why can't I go on the really fun ride like everyone else? Wow, said the little rabbit. I wonder if my new rocket will fly that fast. Hooray, a bouncy castle. Even I'm allowed to go on this. And so little rabbit clambered on and jumped and bounced and hopped until oh, said little rabbit. Oh, said little rabbit. Where's mama and papa? He suddenly felt as small as he really was. Little Rabbit asked some bigger rabbits, Have you seen my mama? And he asked some grown-up rabbits, but nobody had seen Little Rabbit's mama. Has anyone seen my mama? asked Little Rabbit. Little Rabbit began to cry. He was all alone and didn't know what to do. Other rabbits gathered around him asking lots of questions, and then through all the voices he heard, Little Rabbit, there you are. We've been so worried. It was Mama. Thank goodness for your red balloon. I thought we'd never find you. Little Rabbit was so happy. He cried a bit more. I'm sorry, Mama. I am still your Little Rabbit. I'll stay close now, said Little Rabbit. His Mama gave him a great big hug. Come on, she said. I think we've all had enough of Rabbit World for one day. The rabbit family settled down to enjoy Little Rabbit's birthday picnic. Little Rabbit made sure he stayed very close to Mama. Just one last surprise, said Mama. Happy birthday, Little Rabbit! I hope you enjoyed the book, Little Rabbit Lost.